If I heard the word welcome once, I heard it a thousand times today. Its prominence has been a source of curiosity for decades. Now, thousands of invited guests from surrounding communities are being welcomed to come and see the Washington, D.C. Temple. I used to drive on the highway and see this big building in the middle of the highway and always wonder what this building was all about. There are very few places that myself as a person who is black, a woman, and a lesbian walks into um, where people, everyone greets me and looks me directly in my eyes and gives me the most sincere welcome. The warmth, the sincerity, the welcome that we received makes you want to stay. I just felt like I was in this place where the Lord was. I could feel the spirit of the Lord surrounding me. I loved the sense that it's really not about the place or the building. The place and the building is there to help us focus on our families and on, on God's presence in our lives and, um, and our sense of community. And uh, we share that, that sensibility in the Jewish tradition as well. Different rooms and their functions seem to resonate with guests, such as with the celestial room, regarded as the most sacred space in the temple. The ceilings and the lines make you look up, and you can't help but look up over and over and over again. So there's like a, uh, a symbolism there, uh, looking up, looking at God, and being in that, in that space. So that really stood out for me. And the ceiling room, where couples and their families are united in this life and for eternity. Just uh, the incredible sense of the importance of family, the love of family, uh, uh, being there for one another. We stood up in that room and looked in the mirrors and it's just, it, it just, it adds depth to the whole meaning of marriage, yeah. Elder Gong of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles with his wife Susan joined fellow apostle, Elder David A. Bednar, his wife, and other senior leaders of the church who shared with guests the purpose of the temple. It's a remarkable privilege to invite all to come and see in the house of the Lord. What a remarkable thing to have so many people from so many different walks of life. As a special witness of Jesus Christ, Elder Gong not only taught, but made every effort to ensure each person who learned about the temple left with a meaningful experience and a better understanding. It's been wonderful to share the temple with people who have a sense of the sacred and the holy and who are looking for places in their lives where they can feel the spirit. Even with the amount of different religious backgrounds, everybody felt welcomed. Everybody felt like we're here for one reason, and that's to serve God. And that's what I, that's how I feel leaving here. Very unique, I think, as an LGBTQ person to feel so loved and welcomed by everyone. That doesn't happen in everyday life. The quiet peacefulness that is obviously so much a part of uh, the temple and, and its, uh, its architecture and its, uh, its design, it exudes uh, a warmth and a calm that uh, I think uh, people need and seek in today's world. I've just had the most wonderful experience to be able to be here with my dear wife, Susan, and to be able to share our feelings of the deepest things of our hearts with our brothers and sisters, our friends, to share things that matter the most to us.